With diverse flora and fauna, magnificent natural landscapes, and an ecological biosphere that supports life, this wondrous planet is our earthly home. From our animal co-inhabitants to the lush rainforests and life-giving soil, we cherish all these as gifts from the Creator. It is a common theme in the world's major faiths that during our temporary stay here, we should be good stewards of Mother Earth. Throughout the years, Supreme Master Ching Hai has shared the message of leading a balanced life while following a spiritual path. Not only must we nourish our spirits, but we share the responsibility to care for nature and our fellow beings. In light of recent scientific evidence stressing the grave state of our planet caused by climate change, Supreme Master Ching Hai affirms the important message she has noted for over the past two decades. We must be vegetarian, meaning an animal-free diet and practice sustainable living. Today we present to you part three of a four-part series titled Live a Life of Conscience and Love a compilation of excerpts from Supreme Master Ching Hai's discussions concerning the detrimental impacts of the meat diet on human health, the environment, and ultimately the health of our planet. Ho 要去在那边一直找毛虫啦慢慢长大打坐,盡量把自己改善,已經很好了,他只能吃蔬,跟他們跟你合作,就已經很不錯了,多鼓勵鼓勵,多忍耐,多愛心,thank you。of the diseases related to meat consumption and or production, swine flu, Ebola reston virus, Cured meats and fish increase leukemia risk in children. Antibiotic-resistant superbug infections from a strain of Staphylococcus aureus. Blue tongue disease, E. coli, Salmonella, bird flu, mad cow disease or Creutzfeldt-Jakob disease, 90% of the population at risk. Pig's disease or PMWS, listeriosis, shellfish poisoning, preeclampsia, Campylobacter, Clostridium difficile, Diseases hidden in healthy appearing livestock. Some of the costs of meat eating. Infertility. Eating just one serving of meat per day increases the risk of women's infertility by 32%, with additional meat consumption increasing the risk. Heart disease. Over 17 million lives lost globally each year. Cost of cardiovascular disease is at least 1 trillion US dollars a year. Cancer. 
colon rectal cancer. Over 1 million new colon cancer patients diagnosed each year. More than 600,000 colon cancer-related mortalities annually. In the United States alone, colon cancer treatment costs about 6.5 billion US dollars. Millions of people are newly diagnosed with other meat-related cancers every year. Diabetes. 246 million people are affected worldwide. An estimated 174 billion US dollars spent each year on treatment in just the United States. Obesity. Worldwide, 1.6 billion adults are overweight, with 400 million more who are obese. Costs 93 billion US dollars each year for medical expenses in the United States alone. At least 2.6 million people die annually from problems related to being overweight or obese. Environmental. Use up to 70% of clean water. Pollute most of the water bodies. Deforest the lungs of the earth uses up to 43% of the world's cereal, uses up to 85% of the world's soy, cause world hunger and wars, 80% cause of global warming, plus more. Some of the costs of milk consumption. Bacterial microbes, pesticides and enzymes found in cheese derived from the inner stomach linings of other animals. Up to 80% of the calories in cheese are from pure fat, Breast, prostate and testicular cancer from hormones present in milk. Hysteria and Crohn's disease. Hormones and saturated fat leads to osteoporosis, obesity, diabetes and heart disease. Linked to higher incidences of multiple sclerosis. Classified as a major allergen. Lactose intolerance. Plus more. For more urgent information, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash killers. Why do you think uh, compassion is something so rare and hard for some people? Like everybody is talking about compassion, a lot of people are talking about it. But actually, a lot of people just can't ex really express it. You see, uh, we all have it. Just that some people choose, decide to develop it, to go with it, to express it all out. Some people somehow choose not to, for protecting themselves because they think that is better for their survival. You know, if they push somebody else down and step on him and to go up higher, that will be better for them. But whatever better in this life is only ephemeral, temporary anyway. So we always have to choose the way of heaven, the way of love. That's the only choice we should make, even if it costs our life. You know, everybody worship Jesus. Mm -hmm. We have to emulate him. Everybody pray to Buddha, but we just have to emulate the Buddha. They are here for us to <laughs> follow their example. I mean, <laughs> yeah, of course, we worship them, for yeah, sure, because they're yeah. worthy. But they're not coming here, actually, really. It's for the sake of that we worship them, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But to show us the way to be a true human, mm -hmm. to be truly children of God. Because we are children of God. Everybody told us that. Jesus told you that. Mm -hmm. Mohammed told us that. Buddha told us that. Mm -hmm. Nobody tells us that uh, you are bad, you are evil, you are devil or anything. They all say, you are just like me, you are children of God. Or I am the Buddha, you will be the Buddha. You are the Buddha, you forget. Mm -hmm. Now I show you how to remember mm -hmm. your Buddha mm -hmm. self. Uh, Jesus said, what I can do, you can do. Mm -hmm. You are all my father's children. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Nobody look down upon us and tell us that we are something else. We are children of God. Then we have to act like one, no? Mm -hmm. yeah. You think the children of God would go around killing another child of God? Or another being that made from God the animals? The weak and the defenseless? That's not children of God, see? Mm -hmm. Destroying nature, killing others, is not children of God behavior. Mm -hmm. You say it, you know? Mm -hmm. Some of us act less than human. Mm -hmm. That's not worthy, okay? To be worthy is to have compassion and show it. Yeah, and yeah. don't be afraid of losing even your life. Mm -hmm. Because Jesus had told us, nah? well, I'm not just Christian, I'm not advertising for Christian here, but since everybody knows the Bible, 
I cited, huh? mm. whoever forsake his life will gain the eternal kingdom of God, will gain eternal life. Whoever cling to it will lose it. Mm -hmm. See, so we should even honor the creation of God, even at the cost of our lives. But most of the time we do the opposite. Yeah. Heaven is always forgiving, but there is the law in the universe that uh, Whatever you saw, so shall you weep. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You plant an apple, you get apple fruit. You plant an orange, you get orange. Mm -hmm. You plant a thorny bush, you will have pickies on the mm -hmm. bush. Just the physical law. Mm -hmm. Just like the law in our country. Even the president loves everybody. But if we don't act according to the law, then the police will get you, mm -hmm. not the president. Mm -hmm. The president can say, no, no, I, I love him, that guy, uh, he's okay, but the police will just act out the law of the country, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. See, there are two laws in the universe, the law of love and the law of retribution. Mm -hmm. The law of love is all compassion, all forgiving, but we have to turn back to that law, you see? Mm -hmm. Because if we continue to do the things that are violating the law of retribution, I mean, as you saw, so shall you read, then we have to read mm -hmm. the bad retribution of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. But if we follow the law of heaven, you see, every master told you already what to do. Do not kill, mm -hmm. do not steal, yeah? Do not covert neighbor's wife or property, yeah? Do not uh, tell the untruth, mm -hmm. yeah? So love thy neighbor. We have to do that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, what kind of human are we? Even animals, they don't go out and mass killing, you know, for no reason. Sadly, many of us have always tried to grasp everything for ourselves in every circumstance. Even in spiritual practice, we still cannot stop being greedy and selfish. To try to snatch spiritual blessing at the expense of others is even graver than trying to snatch properties or possessions from other beings in the mundane world, because we are already on the spiritual path. Whatever we take, we must earn ourselves. And we can ask for blessing and guidance and help whenever we need. This okay, when the need arises, when it's necessary, but never at the cost of other people's happiness and convenience. Try to remember this. In every situation in life, we must always be considerate and fair-minded. Not that I ask you to always sacrifice yourself, even for the other people's happiness or gain, but at least to play fair. You understand? Because if we are as uh, practitioners and we cannot play fair, how can we expect the world outside to be fair to us or to be a fairer place? for everyone to live in. Is that not so? Your soul knows what is right and what is wrong. Your soul knows that's why you came. We should never forget our dignity and our noble purposes everywhere, for whatever price. If we practice well and if we love the Master and love God, God knows, the Master knows, don't they? Sure. And if they don't know, so what? The master is inside. Even the deer is better than many human beings, and the golden goose, etc. So we should learn from all these golden animals. Huh? We don't care whether he was a Buddha, a previous reincarnation or not. Their action bespeaks their inner spiritual achievement. So. Don't be too proud that we are human beings if we are not up to it. Actually, I don't know why we should be proud that we are human beings. I read in the newspapers 
I heard on the radio, I saw on TV, so many noble animals that they rescue people, huh? they rescue their own kings at the expense of their own life even. There was a picture of a cat. She was totally burned blind and scarred all over because she came four times into the fire, burning house, to rescue four of her kittens. And she was burned blind and beyond recognition. But she brought them all out to safety. A cat. A cat is very independent. After she was pregnant, I think she's not uh, helped by any male or father. She raised her children alone. And I've seen many cats in our surroundings sometimes who do all these beautiful things to her children. I saw her bringing food, you know, for the children, and I am touched by her devotion. And she has done her best to provide nourishment for her children while eating garbage for herself. I saw it with my own eyes. I'm only very moved by her love. And this picture is still vivid in my mind every time I think about cats. So I don't know why we human beings treat animals so cruelly, most of us, and think of them as a low level of beings. I think many of them, the animals, are so noble, so noble and so loving to their own kind as well as to other. And sometimes you see a cat or dog huh, uh, swim into the very dangerous uh, river to rescue his friends. Huh? Be it a human friend or a dog friend or a cat friend, they do that at the risk of their own life. But not many of us human beings dare to do this. When we see the situation dangerous, we don't risk our life. But the animals, they see danger, they still risk out of love. We enjoyed your company today for Between Master and Disciples. Tune in next Friday for part four of Supreme Master Ching Hai's insightful discussion titled Live a life of conscience and love. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television for Animal World, our co-inhabitants. Up next, right after noteworthy news. May divine blessings fill your life with wonder and peace. For more details, please visit www.suprememastertv.com forward slash BMD.